Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric. Welcome back to the channel that is about building a two-motor extreme off-road monster truck from two Tatras and two Teslas. And this is episode 53. Sponsored by a wonderful Patreon Patreons team. Thank you very much guys for your generous help. I would like to announce our new Patreon. His name is Malcolm Travel Konach. If you also would like to help me to produce videos for you every week, you can support my channel through the links down below, through Patreon or PayPal. Guys, check this out. Finally, after a long struggle with lining up the pieces of the tube, it's already connected together. It came up very, very nice. He just had to do the shorter lines over here because I didn't know that I have these rollers in the corner of the shop. The next tube, we are going to use them. It will be way better and he can draw the longer lines. Next step is to get out this piece of uh, differential. I hope it will be fine and we don't have any heat deformation from the welding. Is it going to go out? Is it going to be easy? Because if not, we are screwed. We will not be able to put the differential there. Yay! <laughs> Guys, this is so amazing. I was so afraid that uh, that place uh, in the tube where the differential sits, this ring over here, it will deform or shrink or whatever, and I will not be able to place the differential there. It went out about the same like original one, so there is no changes, no deformation, and this modification is doable. That's awesome. The weld was really close to the thread. So guys, I put grease on both pieces over here and inside and we will put the differential inside the tube. We need to put these uh, holes against these holes, so it needs to be precise. And after that, we are going to make custom uh, shaft that will go from that differential to the T case over here by cutting them. And we are going to use this part, this part, and we will connect them by the sleeve. Let's go. Já myslím, že to tam je. Guys, it is getting there, but at the beginning it was sideways. It was so difficult to line it up. It's really not easy that all at all. Wow, it goes exactly against the holes. I don't have to twist it with the bolts at all.
Let's center it into exact position. Finally. Done. The differential is just almost at the same level like the flange, like nothing else on this Tatra. The next day. Hey everybody, it's another day and we'll continue working on this piece of art over here. Check this out. I did some measurements over here and it shrunk as I expected, it's about four millimeters shorter, but what is important is that it's even. There is maybe a few tenths of a millimeter imperfection, which is perfectly okay. About four millimeter less. And now we need to make the shaft for the tube. This thicker one over here, this one fits over here. And this thinner one over here, it fits over here. We need to make one from these two. I couldn't resist, I just needed to measure it. Uh, if it's still precise, take a look at that. This is almost vertical. This is almost horizontal as well as here. So, really good. We we'll use the end with the longer spline. So guys, I think I have the length of the shaft for the tube we just made over there. And I had to count the thickness of this bracket, which will go over here. I had to count the, this distance and the distance of the shaft which is inside, which is not the same. And finally, this is what is going to happen. I'm going to cut it here. I'm going to cut it here. And we'll put it together. I will put sleeve over that and we will weld it together. That's it. And now we will take the tube over here and we'll put it between the axle and between the T-case. It acts like it's all the time locked. <laughs> Don't tell me I messed it up. <clears throat> I think it's just not far enough in. That's why it's locked, I think. I think it's getting there now. Yes, it's open now. <sighs> wow. It was scary. <laughs> I didn't really want to do that one more time. So how far do we need to push it there? And how many shims we have to put between the flange and the axle? We'll see.
It's working, but I would like to go as far as I can because we need uh, that gears go together all the way in. The question is, how am I going to figure it out? Hmm? Can you hear that? It's already touching, it's too much. I don't hear any sound, that means there is still gap, I can go closer. Let's put these washers there, they are three millimeters. If three millimeters will be fine or not. No, there is no way. Let's try these, they are five millimeters. So we have five millimeters there. Is, let's check if there is any noise. It's not. So three millimeters, not, it's not enough. Five millimeters is fine. How about four? So let's try four millimeters now. So now we have four millimeters gap. Let's check, let's check it out. And it's quiet. Awesome guys, it is working. I have distance over here, four millimeters right now. I'm going to make a shim about three millimeters and some fragments of millimeter. And now we are going to connect the tube with the T-case over here together because I need to check if this steering mechanism doesn't interfere with the T-case. Let's go. the next day. Hey everybody, it's another day because I had to leave yesterday. We've got this final tube done. It's, uh, we have final distance over here. We are just waiting for the shims. And now I'm going to connect the T case with this bracket over here to the tube and we'll put the steering on the top of it into the mounting point. Let's go. Oh, I got it there. It's always a wrestle. Guys, check this out, we have it connected. All the steering is in place. To the steering arms on both sides. And let me move it if this is going to hit that. 
I remember I didn't have this there before, so we'll see if it will be in the way or not. Mm -hmm. It's apparently hitting that plate over there, which we will have to cut off then. And how about here? It's hitting this plate over here too. So I'm going to cut off those corners so we will know if it's going to be fine or not. I have the steering at the at the end position over here and it appears that it would it stops just about one centimeter before it would hit this T case. It's still a little bit wiggly over here because I don't have the bottom bearing there, but it seems like that's the place where it stops, which is fine. Check this out guys, this is the final setup of the tube I designed and built. We'll be able to disconnect the T-case with the electric motor on it over here in this point. We'll be able to lock and unlock the front differential for the front axle. We'll, and we also have the steering mechanism on the top of the tube. The reason for all work of this is this one. If we look from this distance and imagine a huge wheel over here, there will be only a little bit what will be sticking out, out of the diameter of the wheel. That means that we will be able to go over huge obstacles this way because the ground clearance in the middle of the, under the middle of the vehicle will be about 90 centimeters, about three feet. And this will be it for today guys. If you like this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And if you don't want me to pause the video production because I need to work abroad to fund it, please consider to become a patron. Even $1 a month uh, makes a lot of difference for me and no difference for you guys. Thanks for watching. See you on Tuesday.